scientists, have you ever wondered why some plants grow tall while others remain short? Or why some animals are fast but others creep along barely moving at all? It's because all of these organisms have adapted. An adaptation is a change that allows an organism to live and survive better in a specific environment. But what is an environment? An environment is all of the non-living conditions specific to an area, like rainfall, temperature, and even soil type. Let's check out some cool adaptations in plants. All plants require sunlight to grow, but lots of plants have adaptations to help them get sunlight in different ways. Pine trees grow incredibly fast with strong tree trunks so that they can outcompete other slower growing trees in dense forests. Bind plants, on the other hand, have adapted to require less sunlight and to use less energy to grow weaker structures while relying on stronger plants to hold them up. All of these adaptations help plants get sunlight in their environments. Plants have also adapted to have different shapes of leaves. In the rainforest, plants have broad waxy leaves that allow for rainfall to drip off and away from the plant to prevent mold and rot. In the desert, plants like cacti have thick leaves so that they can store water for months when there is no rain. In colder mountainous or alpine forests, evergreen trees have adapted to have skinny needle-shaped leaves to prevent water loss in dry, thin air. Many of the physical characteristics in plants are adaptations to their specific environments. But animals also have adaptations. Let's take a look at some animals' teeth. Animals like horses, elephants, and cows all have adapted to have flat, dull teeth that are excellent at grinding up plant material. Other animals, like cats, weasels, and sharks, have sharp, pointy teeth that allow these animals to rip and tear through meat. Even more animals have a nice blend of flat grinding teeth and sharp tearing teeth, like dogs, bears, and you. This allows these animals to eat a variety of foods. Animals have also adapted to have different types of feet. Snowshoe hares have adapted to have long feet that help them walk on top of the snow by distributing their weight while cats have very small feet that allow them to be stealthy and make almost no noise while stalking their prey. Monkeys have even more specifically adapted feet that are so flexible they can use them like we use our hands to help them climb up in trees. One of the adaptations that has the largest variation is color. Color can allow plants and animals to warn off predators. Arrow frogs have bright colors that tell other animals they are poisonous to eat, which helps them to live longer than other non-poisonous frogs. But some animals also use bright coloration to attract mates. Male birds like peacocks, birds of paradise, and even cardinals use their bright colors to attract female birds and to continue their species. Other animals have adapted using camouflage, to help them blend in and hide in their environment. Tiger stripes help them to hide and disappear in the forest, while squirrels have adapted to have coats that help them blend in to the tree trunks that they climb on. If we look at our snowshoe hare again, they have adapted to have a white coat in the winter to camouflage into the snow, but then in the summer when the snow melts, their coats turn brown to camouflage them into the dirt where they dig their burrows. Organisms all over the planet have amazing adaptations to help them better live and survive in their specific environment. Let's look at a question. 